Hi, this is Aaron Dablo, and I'd like to show you my After Effects exporter, uh, position exporter script. It's uh, part of the Dablo toolbox here, uh, but it's also a standalone script, so you can just uh, run that on your own. Um, now, what this script does is uh, bring an object's position, uh, X, Y, and Z, into After Effects. Now, for here, I've uh, got an, uh, just got a scene set up in After Effects with my RPF camera and my film size and angle of view are matching my um, camera's similar attributes right here. Uh, that's important or this stuff isn't going to line up. And in case you are unfamiliar with this workflow, you can render out an RPF sequence. And if you right click on it, go to keyframe assistant and RPF camera import, uh, the camera data is included in your uh, rendered sequence and After Effects can interpret that as a 3D camera in your scene. Alright, so to start off here, um, I'll just show you a couple of the methods here that it works. Um, if I were to um, make a point helper here and put it in space, uh, you can see that it's, uh, it's got its locations here and in max uh, these axes are flipped and the second one is inverted from After Effects space. Um, so if I wanted to get that position to put like a card of some you know, fire or dust or smoke or some live action footage that I wanted to integrate into my scene, uh, I'd have to uh, manually make a new uh, null object make it a 3D position, and then go to its transform and positions and manually type in the, uh, the corrected positions. But what I have now with this uh, exporter is I can just save this position as a text file. And I'll just put it right on my desktop here. And it saves out a text file. Um, saved as After Effects keyframe data. So I can just Control C, copy this information, and just right here on my position object, just paste it, and it pops right into place where it's supposed to be. Now, if uh, you don't want to go through that extra step of opening it up and copying it, what you can do is you can just go copy right to clipboard. It'll prompt you, keyframe has been copied to clipboard, and uh, you can just well, I'll move it here so you can see, and then just paste it back, and it hops right into space. Now this is all fine and good if you just have a static sequence that you want to put in place, but let's say you have uh, an animated sequence. So I'll just set some keyframes here and just move this in my really high-end animated scene here. A couple spheres. So now you can see that that's sliding along. I'll move it, move it up too just so you can see a little bit better. So now I have this point that's moving in space. What I can do is in the animated position rollout, I click select position and I'll grab it so it's 0.01 and uh, you can set your frame range here um, but if you don't want to do that manually I just have a snap to timeline and it just pops it straight to when it's supposed to be and then if I click the export animated position I'll be prompted with uh, the save file so I'll just save out my file and it runs through the timeline and it writes out the keyframe data so I can just copy all of this hop right over to After Effects and then on the position just paste that right on there and you can see that I now have an animated position export in After Effects uh, hope this is useful for you and uh, let me know what you think